Hey everyone, uh, Coach Van Kempen here, taking a page out of Superintendent Spencer's playbook and uh, sending a video rather than a very lengthy email. At about one o'clock yesterday, I was pretty down. Um, I don't think my eighth hour biology class uh, could realize I wasn't very happy. Um, I thought we were shut down again and I was worried for our kids a lot. Um, then at about four o'clock, the MHSA published their new requirements for basketball and I got pretty excited back up again, mostly because we can be back in the gym. And uh, once we found that out, the coaches, we us coaches have kind of scrambled because we can't be back in the gym in the way we normally can, but at least we can be back in the gym practicing in some fashion. So we have some rules. Mostly the rule is we can't scrimmage, a non-contact practice. So we won't do one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, four-on-four, et cetera. Um, we will be practicing though. And practice will be a bit different because we are going to split the team in half. There are some physical distancing rules that they have, and we felt it would be easier to follow those rules if we have less players in the gym, mostly because we still haven't had tryouts yet. And so we have a lot of kids that would like to play and we really have to try to figure out who our teams are gonna be. So to that end, our practices will be an hour. To start with, we'll practice for an hour, half the team at 8 a.m. for example, and half the team at 9 a.m. That will be the varsity on Saturday morning. JVs on Saturday morning will be half the team at 10 a.m. and half the team at 11 a.m. Freshmen on Monday afternoon will be half the team at 2.30 and half the team at 3.30. And the coaches will let you know, uh, varsity coach, I'll probably let the players know first and may, I'll send an email out to you too about it, but uh, the JV and freshman coaches for sure will let you know who's in what group. And um, please remind your sons to the first practice. They need a Bronco card. They should wear basketball attire. The practice jersey would be fantastic if they have one. For the freshmen, we're going to give them jerseys to wear so that coach can learn their names. Um, bring a water bottle. Larger the better for you. In an hour, we're probably not going to stop much. It's probably going to be we are going full speed for an hour. They will come home very tired after an hour of non-contact practice. Um, as far as tryouts go, we haven't kind of figured that out yet. We'll be notifying you by email and talking to the players a little bit about that as we go. Uh, seminar tomorrow, I'm meeting with all players at 8.30 a.m. in the cafeteria. If you could remind your son, he may not check the bulletin. I uh, don't send emails to every player, so they will have to know that there's a seminar meeting at 8.30 tomorrow where we, where we will go over this. Um, our first game right now is scheduled, not our first game, sorry, our first competition date. We don't have the game schedule settled because it's a lot of work to redo it again. It's February 4. The district tournament would start in March 23 now which means if you have spring break plans and we make the regional finals or the quarterfinals, I hope you cancel them for that. Um, the good news that came out of the MHSA's thing that was kind of slipped in there is the 100 fans per game, which doesn't seem like good news, but if they're at least opening it to 100 fans per game, that feels like we would have a chance to have some fans in the stands um, if we could get Superintendent Spencer to rename our gym Coopersville Arena, then we could have 250, but not, I'm not sure what that meant in their thing when they called, they said arenas would have 250. So I don't know. I just thought we could rename it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, anyway, uh, we are very excited to be able to get started. Um, I think coaches are like, believe it or not, like kids in the first day of practice and the first day of practice has been put off and put off and put off and put off and put off. It's really exciting. Uh, we're excited in some fashion to be able to get in the gym for the first time in really two and a half months with a basketball in our hands with the kids. And uh, so 
as I said, um, please pay attention to the calendar I put in the email. Uh, we will be updating that with practice dates and times as often as we can. And uh, go Broncos.